It may be good news for boaters, but it's a huge concern all across the Great Lakes. Michigan shorelines are disappearing at an alarming rate, and there's no long-term solution. With a day like today, it's hard not to think about spending it on one of Michigan's lakes, but there is a growing problem for many coastal towns, and that's erosion. It's been happening for years, but as changes to the Great Lakes state continue, spurred on by climate change, our Grant Herms reports tonight, experts and those who live on the lake are beginning to worry. Sometimes we could feel spray up against the windows of the house. Big waves, you would actually feel the house vibrate. Now you can see that the beach is about a foot below my sidewalk. At the height of the high water, it was four to five feet from the sidewalk down to the, what beach was there. Jeff Cush has lived along Lake Huron for nearly a decade. And last year, the water came too close for comfort. At its worst, practically knocking on their back door. Jeff says the water last year left piles of sand eight inches thick, leaving them to dig out their sidewalk and forcing them to replace their retaining wall to the tune of $10,000. And they were some of the lucky ones. Don't get Mother Nature's way because she will have her way. <laughs> Michigan is gaining more shoreline. While adding to the state's thousands of miles of scenic views may seem like a good thing, the erosion of the Great Lakes is poised to wreak havoc. Michigan has nearly 3,300 miles of shoreline along the Great Lakes, not to mention thousands more along rivers and in-state bodies of water. Between 2019 and 2020, water levels hit record highs, capping a years-long trend of high water. The erosion so bad, it sent whole sections of bluffs crumbling into Lake Huron, taking pieces of homes with it. Oh yeah, the public parks around the Great Lakes have just been decimated. Andy Hartz is with the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy. People like to be close to the water, right? So if you build a house very close to the water, you've got a situation there where you've really got to protect that shoreline uh, because there's not a lot to give. For Louis Carrefour, who runs Timberline Construction in Lakeport, the high water means big business. 20, 30, 40 feet of their front yard. You know, it was gone. He spends his days lowering boulders up to three tons along shoreline. Homeowners hoping the rocks will break the waves and save their seawalls. The homeowners might be lucky this year. They might not take a beating, but like last summer, they took a beating because the water was up. Now who knows what the water is going to do? In 2021, the water levels have been lower than they were last year here in Lake St. Clair. Even if it's not a great lake, the water level here is still about a foot and a half higher than average. And all this erosion is bad for the environment, too. It can send soil and hurt the plants on the lake bottom. It can make the water murky and hard to see for animals that need to feed. And it can also churn up pollution that may have been embedded and captured in that lake bottom soil, sending plumes of pollutants into the water. So what's to be done? Experts say not much. Property owners have been putting up metal or concrete seawalls to help stop rising water, but those could do more damage over time. Scientists say the best thing to do, keep as many native trees, bushes, and plants near the water to create a natural barrier or use biodegradable netting, working with Mother Nature to help slow the Great Lakes growing problem from becoming even greater. Oh, Grant, as with all of this, it's not just an environmental cost, but a financial one as well. So how much is this problem costing Michigan? Well, if you take a look at something just like flooding damage, we're talking tens of millions stretching into the hundreds of millions of dollars. That's not to mention contamination, pollution and cleanup costs. The governor also built in another $60 million in her 2021 budget for contamination and pollution cleanup. All this is to say it is a very steep price that is only going to get worse if we don't do something soon. Very Back true. to you. An interesting topic, obviously, that affects everyone. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it.